Christina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. This video is going to feature the Vera Bradley Work Tote in Garden Dream. Um, this is a great bag and performance twill. I have not used it yet, so this will be a first, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. It's one I've been really looking forward to for a while now. So, before we get into this one, let's get out of the other one. So, for this time, um, I actually thought we would do a um, after action report on the Camper SE from Lug. That was the first time I've used this bag. Here's the front of it, sorry. Um, yeah, and it's a great bag. Uh, it, this one is in Bloom Black, which is of course one of my favorite patterns. Uh, but a couple things about this bag. If you watched the What's in My Bag video where we moved into this one, I'll put the link here for you. But that video, um, there was a little bit of, uh, I don't want to say consternation, but a little bit of an adjustment because the way that this front, because I do have it a little bit stuffed, it's not overstuffed, but <clears throat> the bags, the front pockets don't have their own gussets really, so they do share space. And if you put anything in here that's rounded at all, it pulls on the foam pocket, so it just kind of gapes open a little bit, if, if not. So I had taken all that stuff out. So... That's one thing is you got to keep the slim stuff up front so that you can keep that front panel kind of straight. It'll work best that way, my opinion. Um, if you want something a little bulkier, you can put it in that back pocket. It's not going to have quite as big of an effect. But if you round out the whole bag, that will again do the same thing from the inside the bulk. So it's a trade-off. I think it's just perfectly packed the way it is. I wouldn't want to put a whole lot more, at least not laterally. It could stand more vertically. Um, but yeah, so I definitely don't need to carry more. There's plenty of stuff in here. All right, so a couple things about the bag. I did have the heart pouch on the outside. I just had initially put hand sanitizer and mask in here, and then I took it out and just basically had a decorative thing on there. So let me put that aside. I have my phone in the phone pocket, of course, but I did change the phone case to my bramble, so they're that, and then, yeah. And here in the front pocket, I took everything out. So there is nothing in that pocket because of the issue I described. The bottom pocket, I actually still did have my sunglasses in there. And these are the Vera Bradley and Art Poppies for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is October, of course. So I really should be moving into my new Felicity Paisley or some other, but I'm not. I'm gonna move into my big work tote. All right, so that's the front. On the side pocket, um, I just had a mask. I wore it only to breakfast. This is um, Kia Paisley. So it doesn't perfectly match or anything. I do now have the Bloom Black mask, but I didn't, I didn't wear it the other day. All right, so that's it for that one. On this side, I had more clean masks. So I'll just set those aside. They didn't get used. All right, and then the back pocket, I had my wallet, which was the Tandem Zip in Bloom Black. Nothing else. And that fit very nicely, but you can see already that that really slimmed the bag down already. Now, if you remember in that video, there was two secret pockets, and I don't know if they're supposed to be pockets, but they're pockets to me. And that is right here, between the strap and the bag, right here at the top, there's a pocket. So I have in there a um, hand sanitizer. That's why I didn't need the heart. I just put it in my secret pocket, which it fit very well in. And despite what I just displayed, it was pretty easy to get in and out as well. And then on the other side, I have another mask. This one is in Camo Navy from the Beaker. It's a Beaker mask. It's the Beaker One, the original from Lug. So there's another mask there. And that's all I had in those side pockets. I did have some chapstick in there at one time, but I changed it up. Okay, so inside the bag, everything else is normal, normal bag carry. You got your key leash there with the bungee. Got my pouch that had my tech stuff, pouch that had my gum and mints. And then everything else went into the pockets on the inside. So let's unpack all of that. We're just gonna take everything out. So it'll be a little different transition because we're not going pouch to pouch. We gotta repack some things since they're all out of pouches. So 
clear pocket. Here's a couple pens. We'll go through everything that's here, don't worry. <laughs> All right. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so I did have a lot of stuff in there, of course, but the usual. And there we go, it's all empty. So we'll set that aside. That was a good bag, I do like it. I will use it again, of course. Now, we've got all of this stuff, which I'm just gonna push forward for now, for a moment. All right, so I grabbed some things, per my normal, that I might want to use with this bag. It is a bigger bag, so we're a little bit less space constrained. I allowed myself that because I wanted to be sure to be able to pack my planners, um, multiple actually, and I'll explain when we get to that part. But I'm going camping for just one week, but I wanted to just have one bag as my purse and planner and put all that in one place. So I'm not gonna do a lot of planning, like all the sticker cart and everything staying home, but I wanted to be able to you know, start writing in on my hourlies and doing that, so. All right, so I grabbed, uh, it's a bag charm actually, it's Harry Potter. It's a bag charm with a big clip on it, but it also is a glasses carrier. Now, I haven't actually test fit this, but I'm hoping that this fits. Ta-da! So, there's my glasses case for the moment. Yeah, and I kind of thought, okay, thematically, it doesn't match. This is a very classy looking bag to me, like more elegant, and Harry Potter's just more fun. But the coloration, you know, the gold and the navy does kind of match with the bag because it has these like browns and tans and, excuse me, hiccups. So I thought maybe I could hang that on the outside and it wouldn't be too much of a departure style-wise. And the truth is, once I get in the trailer and get settled at the campsite, and it's not even that far away, um, the bag's mostly just going to stay in the, the living room. It's not really going to go out. If I need to go run around and actually need to take something with me, I'll take my mini sling, honestly. Okay, but then when I come back, I'll be packed and ready for the week. I did grab an eyeglass case. This is, uh, or sunglass case. This one is in Holland Garden. It's the hard clamshell. It does have some padding on it as well. I grabbed a water bottle. This one is Mochik. It's from Amazon, but I really, really love this. It's a great size. And since I'm carrying a bigger bag, the only thing is it's not insulated, but I just wanted to be able to take some water because when I'm running around. Um, and then this is my new Go Stack snack th tower, whatever. These are stackable and they just, you can take them individually. You know, the lid will just stay like that. Or you can snap it on there together. What I just have in here is I have some almonds. These are guara almonds, like G-U-A-R-A -A from Trader Joe's. They have olive oil and sea salt on them, so that's why it looks a little greasy on there. It's not important what they are, but the top is 56 grams of almonds, so that fits in there. So the reason I just went ahead and put them all in there is um, now when I empty that top section, I can just fill that top section and it'll be essentially the proper portion for my serving it for the next snack. So. You just move them up to the next one. <laughs> Anyways, so it's a good plan, but it's small. And so I thought that could fit in the bag and that'll be good. I grabbed a notebook, which is actually a passport wallet in classic black. And it has a slim journal inside, which is all Vera Bradley, but that's the concerto pattern. And this, this size of slim journal actually fits perfectly in the passport wallet. See, it actually fits like in the passport slot. So it's great. The newer ones, were taller and don't fit. They fit to hold it between, but not actually in the slot. So anyways, great little notebook and whatnot. I grabbed the Midtown wallet. It's an accordion style wallet, but it matches, so garden dream. That is my plan. I grabbed the cosmetic, which is a lay flat style, but those are the only three pieces that match, or two pieces rather. I grabbed a pouch, my new wet pouch in or wet dry pouch, whatever, in the unicorns. Um, just cause, okay, it's black and colorful, so it doesn't truly match, but it kinda does. But we'll see how the pouches play out. I probably don't need it, but I, I just thought it was fun. Um, I grabbed some, this is just tampons, honestly, but it's in the Pretty Posies pink. 
um, which is very girly. So I thought I might put this inside one of the other pouches. I'm not expecting, that's another story, you know, starting to get into menopause age, but TMI, TMI. I grabbed some tissues. I grabbed, there's another pen. I grabbed the keys for the trailer. Um, so I have keys to the trailer, all the locks, the locking um, on the, the hitch and the bumper and all of that stuff. And then I have a remote for the generator. And I just, I put it on this keychain because then when I want to do things hands-free and I don't have any pockets maybe, then I can still keep it there. Anyway, grabbed a couple extra chapsticks and some tongs. This is just clearing out the details. Um, a little mini pen, I thought I could throw that back into one of my pouches. A little mini flashlight, same thing. Manicure kit, because we're going to change. So we'll get to that. I got business cards, bringing that back in. This goes on the keychain, actually. That's so I can clip the two pairs of keys together as needed. All right, then I grabbed a GGB B set and I grabbed the Harry Potter Mischief Managed because I thought the black actually matches. Not so much the, the crest there, but the black bags will match. The middle size is different, so I probably won't use that one, but we'll see. More chapstick. <laughs> and I grabbed a plain black tech case, Vera Bradley. It's an old style. All right, so I think, <laughs> I think that's everything. So before we start packing everything in, let's look at the bag. <laughs> it took a long time to get to that part, but here we are. So we have the tote bag. It is definitely a tote style bag. It does not have a shoulder strap or crossbody. I think to take this bag to the next level, even before I've used it, I can already say this, I for sure think it should have that removable strap there because this bag, I mean, if you're working, you wanna be hands-free when you're commuting, um, things like that. I just, I just really think that would be great, especially now that they came out with the multi-strap shoulder bag. It just makes sense. This is like the extra large version of that, honestly. They're very similar in some ways, different in others, but it is performance twill. Like I said, this is garden dream. The thing about this, like I, on the other bag, I had mentioned that if they had the pockets like it was on the front of that one that go beyond the straps, if this did have that shoulder strap, you could tuck this strap inside and then you would still, you know, you, you wouldn't have your straps hanging all over when you're using it in the other way. Does that make sense? Um, or these straps could be removable, but in, in this bag, the pocket does do that on the front and the back, unlike the multi-strap bag. So this one is symmetrical front and back, um, but it doesn't have the crossbody straps. So anyways, good strap drop as, as always, you know, Vera kind of has that figured out. It's very comfortable and it stays on the shoulder so far pretty well, but I only walked down the hall from the bag room to here. So, oh, whatever. Um, back pocket is just a pocket. It's big. It, it runs the whole, almost the whole width of the bag. It stops right at the seam there, but it's, it's pretty good. The way that it was stored, it has a, a rigid bottom, so it was stored like this. So I do have to work out that little crease there, and that'll, I think, work out as we pack it up. All right, the front of the bag has that same exact pocket as the back. Um, there's a, a glimpse of the lining there with the florals and the small, sort of petite florals. But it also has a zipper pocket in front of it, and that's plain as well. Let's see. Yeah, nothing in there, no organization at all in those two pockets. But nice slick zippers, very, very sharp. I like it a lot. All right, the top has the zipper closure, but it's one of those bags that has that um, flap closure like that, so you don't have to come to a point it gives you a lot of extra capacity by doing it that way. It does have the zipper tab end, you know, so you can kind of grab it and zip it up, or you can tuck that back down. Inside the bag, let's start from the front, front to back. So, <laughs> I say front to back and I'll turn it back. So the front has the zipper. It also has the metallic Fear Bradley tab down here. It's, it's engraved metal. And then, Inside the front, you have two slip pockets. I know you can't see them too well, but two big slip pockets, and they are quite large. Like, I think right away, this fits the, the big set piece right in there. 
very easily. So quite generously sized. Opposite that, so in the middle you have a divider, so it's not like a normal tote. Because it is a work tote, it has a laptop section in the middle. On the front side of that, you have another big slip, a smaller slip, and three pen slots right here. I know you can't see that very well. Sorry. Three pen slots, small slip, big slip. Very nice. And then the, the rest inside is just space. Um, then you have the laptop section, which is a little short. So the bag is this tall. The laptop compartment goes up to about here. Um, and that's just so that you can close the zipper above it. So um, when we get to the packing part, we'll test fit my laptop. I haven't done that. Oh, there's another bag. We'll, we'll talk about that. All right, moving on. The back side of the laptop section has nothing, but the back of the bag has one more pocket, and that is this big zipper pocket that runs all the way across. So a very big pocket runs the whole back side of the bag. And because this is performance twill, the inside is, is kind of a nylon interior. It's, it's got a nice feel to it, but it's wipeable. You know, it goes really good with perform, performance twill. So for this bag, let's do that tech space first. It has a Velcro tab on there that you open up and it's padded on both sides. It has nylon inside, just plain black nylon. And Sorry, I have too many things all stacked on top of each other. Um, so this is my iPad case. It's the iPad Pro 12.9, which I'm filming on, but here's the case. Let's just do a test fit there. It fits perfectly inside there. It comes up just right to the edge. So the edge of the iPad case is the edge of that section. So of course that fits nicely. It has a good two inches or so lengthwise, and no problem. So that fits great. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put that down on the floor. <laughs> okay, and then I grabbed my laptop since I'm packing it up to travel anyways. And this is a pretty big laptop. It's a, hang on. Well, HP Envy. So, but it's thin, but it's wide. So let's see how that fits in here. It definitely fits. It's no problem. Um, wait, oh, goodness, mess. Um, okay. So here's the thing. It easily fits lengthwise. There is a finger width on either end space still available. So it actually could be slightly wider that way. But remember, I was talking about the height of that section. The tab isn't long enough. This tab, this whole thing would still work, but you can see the laptop is taller than that section. And I think almost all laptops would be, honestly. So this could still work and it could still be secured if this tab was just a little longer, but you could see that it, the Velcro isn't all the way to the end, first of all. So, you know, if I did a little Vera surgery, I can move that up to the end and then it would work because it's that close, it would work. But really, that's just bad design, honestly. This should be longer. And now if I pull it really tight, I can get it up and around and I can get it to latch. That's just, yeah. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, hmm, good thing I did that. This is the first time I've tested it, by the way. There is, now that I see it, a bit of elastic on the back, so maybe it is supposed to be that tight. I. It's not my preference, but hey, anyways, the fact is it works. So that's a win. Now that it works, I'm gonna take it out because I actually have a, a different case. I'm gonna store that in for travel. All right, so we know that works. Yay, that's a win. That was more difficult than it should have been. Okay, so let me just set this aside for now because we've gone through everything. Let's figure out what we're gonna put in it. Pouches aside, this will be the first pouch. We know the wallet, so we've got the wallet. I'll do the changeover later, but the wallet's gonna go in there. I'm thinking inside. Front compartment. 
Mm. I'm going to put it on the laptop compartment side. So on that middle, right there, there's a nice slip for it. And that'll be easy access. I can always find it. Pens. I have a Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome Association pen. Actually, a really nice pen. And it has a stylus tip on the top. So I'm going to put that in here in the pen slot. There were two other pens in my other bags. So let me grab those. Let's see what we got. We got a multi-pen pencil, red black pencil combo. Um, and I have my Lug Bloom Black. That's fine. I'm sure I'll change that out for a Vera pen later, but Vera didn't make a Garden Dream pen. So for the moment, that's fine. And those fit really nicely. Probably help you see those pen slots a little better now. Maybe <laughs> you can see it a little better right there. Okay. So we got that water bottle can go in one of the big pockets opposite that two big slips right there. So I'll put it in one of them. Yeah, that'll be good. Paper, I need, always need a notebook in my bag. So I'm going to start with that in the other big pocket. No, I'm not. Where do I want that? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put it in that front slip next to the other one. All right. Keys. Keys are going to go in the back zipper. Seen a standard. Now I'm just going to put all of them in there together right now so got that got my hey whoever was asking about the shopping tag bag charm it would be too hard to go back and find the comment but the online outlet sale is open and they do have them on there so dear bradley there you go so put both sets of keys in that giant zipper pocket back there and just zip it up all right maybe i'm gonna take that notebook back out for a minute okay it's time to figure out some pouches. Yeah. All right. We need sunglasses. So we have two options. We'll set that aside. Tech pouch. The snacks are going to go in there. I'm just going to set that in the bag. Right in the middle. Let's start with this one. So this one has a front pocket like the iconic style. It has a double zipper, so it zips all the way around and then it can lay flat. Both sides have a mesh double zipper to hold things in there. So I'm thinking the main back part. Um, you know, I might even just leave it in the runway envelope. I have ideas. <laughs> so many plans. Uh, yeah, so this uh, business card changeover. So I was using my Vera one. I'm going to go back to the metallic one, but I'll put it back in the tech pocket. In this pouch, I have my cord charger, my squeezy light, my, oops, my other multi-tool card, and my headphones. Um... All right, so we don't need that manicure kit. So we have all these loose items here. Let's put the manicure kit in here, the tissues in here. I grabbed a RFID slim card case. Actually, I'm not certain this one's RFID or not. Nope, but it is Midtown, so I did grab it, but I don't think I need it, honestly, so I'm just gonna put it aside. All right, Get all of these miscellaneous toiletry things. So I'm gonna put the pill box in the back row here. These tissues are, those tissues need to move. And in between them, I'm gonna put my, oops, this has just got some extra like Tom's um, chewable in there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that like that. Pretty straightforward. It's not full 
but it's got enough in there. Wait, I'm gonna put band-aids in there. Band-aids, that fits nicely. Yeah. Where's my little dental floss things that I normally have? I don't know. Here they are. Those can go in here as well. Have I lost you yet? <laughs> it's a process. This one is, uh, yeah, more significant transitions, it seems like every bag these days. Working up a sweat, though. Okay, on this side, I'm going to put the toiletry stuff. So we got hand lotion, sunscreen, just the little ones. We've got alcohol, spray. Actually, I want those to be more readily accessible. Chapstick. That can go in there. Yeah, those don't go in there. Put the comb, the two hair ties, chapstick, and tissue. And that's pretty much it. This other notebook that was in the bag comes out. Okay. I think we're good. So we've got the basics right here. So that covers everything on the inside. Fits very nicely, it's not too bulky, so it'll fit nicely in the bag. And then I have this whole front pocket, which is where I think I'm going to put my hand sanitizers. So I have the alcohol, the eucalyptus mint, and the antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral spray. I'll put those in here. them to stand up though all right those will be fine there okay so that can go in the bag and I'm just gonna put it right in front of the wallet but just set it in the bag so it all just fits so far very nicely okay Ooh phone phone needs to be quick access I'm just going to put it on the front side and in the slip part. Um, I will say, does it have a magnet closure? It does not have a magnetic closure, but it's pretty, pretty secure. It'll be fine. Okay, so let's get these pouches because I'm really excited to try these. So we have the small one, small set piece, but it's black. And then we have the medium one, the middle one which I love the size of but I'm not wanting to put this light one although it does kind of match with the lighter colors but it's not really a match match so we'll put it aside for the moment okay so let's take stuff out of here we don't actually <gasps> I'm gonna leave this stuff so the gum and mints are gonna stay in the lug runway or yeah runway envelope in black just black I'm gonna put that whole thing inside of here it does have straps which I'm just gonna put the short strap wristlet strap on here which end do I want it I don't think it matters it's a double zipper so there are loops on the end of this bag so you can, you know, you could make it a short strap or you can do it like a wristlet. I'm just gonna do it like a wristlet. Okay. So we have the gum and mints. We have the girly stuff. We have the notepad. This might be too much. Take the girly stuff out. The notepad and the tech stuff, but the tech can come out of its pocket. This was a sack roots pouch. It was super cute. I actually really like that. It's kind of like a midtown material as well. Okay. So let's put a few things in the small set piece. We've got squeezy light. You could use this as a little wallet. I'm not going to, but you can. It's got pretty good capacity. Don't need a desiccant. Okay, squeezy light. That can go in there my multi-tool, 
my business cards. My headphones won't fit in there, but I've got this other flashlight, which is a mini mag light. Works really great. It can go in there. My little mini pen can go in there. And then my charger and my cord can go in there. I'm just gonna wrap this a little tighter. So that fits very, very nicely in this perfect little pouch. Yay, so I, I'm really happy with that. Sort of like a tech and lights, that's good. Um, so I think I could put that in here with my, okay, that doesn't work. My gum and mints and my tech and lights can go together in here. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay. Well, that can go in here. Now I'm going to put that on the back side of the bag. Strap up. Okay. Sweaty. So now what do we have left that needs to go in the bag? We need to take this. It doesn't have to go in the purse, though, because I have some in the trailer. And I probably won't need a single one. But, you know, girls, we got things we got to take care of. So I'll keep this for now. Got notepad, headphones, sunglasses, and masks. So we need uh, some masks because I'm going to be gone for a whole week. So I'm not doing any laundry. These should get me through. I can hand wash them if I need to. So here's our options. Which pouch to, excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, which pouch to put things in? We could use this pouch. Maybe. Is it tall enough for the notebook? Yes. I don't really like that though. I think what I'm going to do is put this aside. Put the strap in there so I don't lose that. Okay, so put that one aside. We have this one. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one for my masks, my notebook, and my earphones. Earphones are going in this pouch because that actually makes more sense. Okay, you have to lay down, that's fine. Duh. Okay, so. It's got a little bit of bulk to it just because of the way it's sitting in there. Let me fix that. Because they both, yeah, it's just gonna have a little bulk. I think this can stand up. Yeah. Oh, better. Takes a moment. Yeah, so it's not too bad. You can put that back in here. All right. So we have a notebook and some masks in here. The girly stuff can also go in here. Ooh, it's a little bit tight. I could slim down the girly stuff, but okay, we're set. We have a pouch. And we have space, which is important. Sunglasses, I'm going to go with the external one. I could use the, that one, but I'm just gonna go, mm, let's see where we're at. So inside, I have my water bottle in the pocket. There's nothing in the other pocket. So I think what I'm gonna do now is switch this around, put this in the pocket. Wait, I'm on the wrong side. Put this in the pocket and put the pouch on the other side. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because it doesn't really matter if it's in the pocket or not in the pocket. Okay. As I was saying, Okay, so we have, this is what happens when you don't pre-try everything and you just learn as you go. So we have the um, 
jujube here. Uh, where's our divider? So our divider's right here. We kind of have this side stuff. We have the unicorns and the midtown on this side, the wallet and the snacks and the water. So most of it's on the front side of the bag. On the back side, we just have the jujube pouch. And that is it, which leaves that whole other half of the bag for journals, uh, planners. So here we go with the glasses. I'm just gonna put them right there. So now we have our sunglasses. They're safe enough there. I could still take this, just throw it on top, which because I'm going camping, I might still want to have that with me. So I will do that at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside because now we have some decisions to make on planners. So this is just a little sleeve I have from Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome Association. I went to a conference a couple years ago and bought a bunch of little promotional things, you know? But this is gonna be my little planner pouch. Uh, I have a couple other options. Someone asked me recently which bags are best for carrying your planners, for those that carry your planners everywhere, they're working, they're out of the house a lot, you wanna accommodate a planner. Yeah, a couple things about it. First of all, Many people want to protect their planner, so putting it inside something else and then putting it in the bag so that it doesn't get your papers all mucked up, um, that's one option. Vera Bradley has these tablet sleeves. This one's a factory style in Chandelier Noir, and this one is a retail side. It's an older pattern, Indigo Pop, but they're both basically the same. Um, they're padded and they're not designed for a planner, <clears throat> but here's my petite planner with four dailies in there. I'm using this as a journal, so I do want to take this with me and record some of my adventures. And so this fits in here quite nicely. Oh, not with the tag in the way. Haven't, haven't used this one before. Um, so it fits in here really nicely and it will zip up. It's, it's a little bit tight, but it zips up actually pretty well. This is not my preference for today because it's a little too thick for me. And this one's a little bit thinner, less padding, but still not what I'm looking for today. So I'm gonna use this one, which is a Happy Planner bag. They come as a set of two. Um, I don't even know where I put the smaller pouch. It's being used for something somewhere in my house, uh, but it wasn't big enough for planner and it didn't need a pencil pouch. But, but this pouch is great and fits the planner. You just have to maneuver it in, but it will fit in there. And so I'm going to put this inside there so that doesn't get all mucked up in my bag. Really nice zipper on there actually. So hello, that's my dailies. I can grab that. I'll just have my pen inside there as well. I'll hook it back in the loop that it was on. And there I'm set. So I can just go grab this and go sit outside and journal. The other thing is I have my wellness log. That definitely needs to go with me because I'm keeping up with my everything. So every day I sit down and I log my blood sugar, my blood pressure, my pulse, my steps from the day before, my weight, my everything. I put everything I'm eating, I keep a really good track. It's going very well. Uh, it's tedious and painful, but it's, it's a moment of your day to stay on track. And the other thing is my um, monthly, and this is my 18 month, this is the current one. And since I haven't transferred all of the info to the new planner, I need to bring this with me as well. Plus this is like lighter, just to have out, I can have it out every day, um, even outside, I don't mind, because it's just, I can grab it. So I'm gonna throw those in with the petite, those still fit in that pouch. But then I have the hourly, and this does present a slightly different challenge because this does not fit in any of those pouches that I've shown. And I don't wanna put it in like a full up laptop sleeve. Um, since I'm not carrying my laptop in the bag, I'm actually going to put this in the laptop section, I think. Um, and I'll just put it down this way so that the spiral has a better chance of surviving. You know, I just have stayed away from spiral bound things because they tend to get, you know, jammed up. But this seems pretty robust and resilient, so I'm hoping that it doesn't get stressed, you know, squished and whatnot. So, but anyway, my planner, my hourly, I just did a video earlier today of the walkthrough of the initial stuff, so there you go. 
that's I'll put the link here for you but it's it needs a lot of work still so I'm gonna take this with me even though I'm not gonna do stickers I could transfer data but this will fit in this pouch not completely but it will protect the pages so I'll just slide it right in there it's a perfect fit and the only thing that sticks out is the spiral so yes I can't secure the pouch but I can you know keep the pages from all getting mucked up and keep it all together so that's how I'm going to store it and I'm going to put it right in the middle that much I had thought out already so oops fell flat on that side so right in the middle and just put it in like this okay I need the table because it's a two-hand job I've got this bag pretty well full oops okay so yeah <laughs> this other planner is not going to fit in here but aside from that it's it's perfect <laughs> uh yeah let me zip it up zip check works oh and voyage of discovery people every day all right so i found something in that good thing i stood up i would have never seen over the top um, so I have nothing in my external pockets because everything is so full. I got my phone. Check this out. So I zipped it up, right? And because it's like to capacity, look, look, there's a secret phone pocket. That's great. I just didn't know it. So, okay, my phone pocket. And even with the bag stuffed, the phone goes in there really easily. It does stick up right at the top so I can totally grab it easily and go. Good thing this is not a bag I would be carrying around because I wouldn't. I'm not carrying all this around every day. But I did want to do a test fit because all of that fit into my other bag. Granted, different configuration, but yeah. So interesting that such a big bag would have a little bit less capacity than you would think, ironically. Okay, one other thing to notice or to note this back pocket that we talked about, this slip that's on the back of the bag, it does go all the way down to here. Not to the bottom of the bag though. Why does it stop right here? Well, it stops right there because that is also a trolley sleeve. And this is what I keep saying about lug bags, that it would be really great if they had a zipper on the bottom to make it usable as a pocket, but then also be able to use it as a sleeve. This one has that. So there's a zipper. I know you can't see it, but a zipper. So now, it's a trolley sleeve, if you so desire. Um, since I'm not going on a plane, I have no need to put it on a suitcase. I'm just gonna keep it zipped. And now I have a, a pocket, which is very, very usable. So the, some great, great features on this bag. I actually really, really like this bag. And if I was packing a more reasonable, non-traveling, um, stashed bag, um, after I get done with this video, I guarantee I'm gonna go through it a little bit and, and figure out some better ways to rearrange it. But I think overall, it's a decent plan. It does all fit, and since I'm not going very far, it's really gonna go into the RV, and then I'm gonna pull it all out and lay it all out anyways, probably, so stay la vie. But there you go. So I definitely could use it as a day trip bag, keep it in the car and, and, and you know, that kind of thing, but I'm not carrying. This is heavy because of all the stuff I have in there. I mean, it's carryable, but look at how fat it is. It's definitely. It's definitely full. So first thing to go is the water bottle. I'll tell you right now. So that's coming out. That makes it a lot more proportionally spaced. Just that alone. Okay. So, hi Kelly. You wanna say hi? Come here. Ah, okay. There you go. She says hi. Oh, I know. It's time for B-E-D. I know. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet. That's my girl. She doesn't know we're going somewhere tomorrow, but she knows I'm packing things and running around, so she always gets a little bit nervous. She thinks I'm going to leave her, but I'm not. She's coming. That's the great thing about having an RV is you sleep in your own bed every night. You don't have to worry about baggage limits for airlines or seating spacing or whatever, and you can take your dogs. That's the best, best part of all. So... Anyway, enough. <laughs> That's what's in my bag with the work tote from Vera Bradley, Performance Twill Garden Dream. 
and a lot of other miscellaneous things inside of it. And I got to get back to packing, so I'm going to cut this off. Bye for now. Take care. Have a great week. I will try and post some more videos as soon as I get back, but probably nothing for about the next seven days. Take care. Bye for now.